I don't even I don't even think that she need to go through five different niggas. Like, yeah, that's you gotta ridiculous. go through five different niggas because guess not what? at the same time. Financial literacy at the end. Shit. Five natural literacy. Well, that pussy gonna be ran through, baby. But that that pussy day, gonna be uh, the uh, roast beef, baby. But guess baby. what? You can't control. And that's but, just that. But guess what? You can't. Uh, let me be honest with you. You can't control that because then guess what? I know girls. I've but see, no, I don't agree with that life. because at the end a of the day, I regardless. feel like I feel like yes, date somebody that's offering you a benefit for sure and that for can sure. teach you something. But going out here to just go date a nigga or whatever, if okay, if that's what you want, you want to do for fun or whatever, okay, cool. If you gonna pay your bills for a short time, okay, cool, whatever. Okay. But just understand what you getting yourself into and don't get your feelings attached. See, the problem where women go wrong is that they get their feelings too deeply involved. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Coco Van Gogh and. Big Bang Bisha. You did, you did, you did. Are you good on the mic? Is she, is she good? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was just making sure you know she kind of far away. You know, I got to check on my I'll baby. Pull it, I'll pull it closer. You got to check on your wife. And guess who's visiting wife. us today? Our girl, Honey. Honey. Honey, money. Hi, What's mommy. up, baby? Don't try to kiss me in my mouth now. I don't do all that now. But this is my sweet girl. She is, Um, I think, I do believe that she's pregnant. So she's, she's very clingy. You know, she just came in here. She didn't want to. She didn't want to sit down over there. Usually, she just be chilling on the couch, but she didn't want to sit down. She came in here and she just like, okay, somebody hold me today. So we're here. She here with us today. Yeah, perfect. So um, what's going on right now is uh, I keep seeing this stuff on the internet, man, and it's making me kind of crazy, cringy, like. What's up with this, like, girls calling other girls pick me's? Like, the girl, the girl, it's like a girl, if a if a girl agrees with uh, a girl taking accountability, that's a new word. That's a new in that vocabulary. A girl taking accountability, you're a pick me. Why? Why? Why if a girl, why if a girl says that she agrees with why men are being single because, and women being single, all this stuff like that, whatever. What's what's a pick me? You talk about that. What's a pick me? I mean, I don't I don't even use that term, but I do feel like a lot of women try to use that um to just try to like downplay another woman. That's me personally because it's like, okay, if a woman can say, "You know what? Again, with the accountability word. If they can sit there and take accountability and say, "You know what? I'm wrong here. This is where I fall short here." Yeah. Or, "You know what? I could do this better and we could do this better." And try to, you know, put those put those like just speak some type of like life into other women it's always oh you're a pick me you want to be chosen so bad you want to be chosen so bad but it's just like so a pick me is supposed to be like yes me i guess that's what they try to say they try to say that pick me's are trying to like are yes men but are, are yeah like you know they just try to like make themselves look good for other men so that a man would like be like oh okay we'll give them praise but it's like oh. what's wrong with you just you know now i will say this some women do do that. Some women do do that. But I feel like situations, it just depends on the situation and what she's t- talking about, mm-hmm. you know? But I've even seen like, okay, um, even as far as like, they'll say something that's like, okay, if you're with, if you're out, right, you're at a house or it could be like a little kickback or a little party or something, right? And a girl starts cleaning up. Oh, she's a pick me. Cause she want to be like, she want attention so bad. And I'm just like, oh. why? Why? Because a girl start cleaning up that she's a pick me. Me personally, I'm the type of person that if I just automatically like see a mess, like again, I'm one of those people that I can't go to sleep with dishes in the sink. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mess my mood up. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to have anxiety behind it. Like I think I have like OCD when it comes to cleaning. Like I will literally rewrite some, something and I will continue to wipe it until it's like, in a, in a certain type of like way. And then it has to be like, no drops can be like nothing wet can be on the counter or anything. But again, like that's just me. If it's cups all around the place, guess what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just start collecting the cups to get them like to throw them away. That's just something that just naturally is that I do. And some girls, I feel like some girls just probably do that. They probably are the same. They probably just do that naturally. But some other girls will look at it like, Oh, she's a pick me because she's cleaning up. But it'd be like, why she gotta be a pick me? What y'all bitches dirty or something? Like I'm confused. So that's I mean, I guess that's what they saying. I guess what they said that's what they saying about pick me. I guess they just saying that you can't agree with the man. I don't think that I don't think that <laughs> that's women crazy. I don't think that women want other women to agree with the man. I think it's just a whole it's a whole community of women that wanna go against what a man says. And I'm gonna be honest, 
if y'all feel that way, man, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I'm in a mood where today, guys, I don't want to be mean, guys. So it's like, ladies, if you feel that way and you don't want to agree with the man, start dating women. But stop, even, stop, stop. Even with a woman, you're not going to be able to escape that because I feel like we even more needy. We're more. But I'm just saying, it's like, but the thing is, it's like, it's like, it's like a, it's like a, a, a community of women who are just against the man. Yeah. It's like, but I'm not his. Man. Ma- I'm. I'm it's, They're it's, against the man, but one yeah, man, it's, which it's, is crazy. I, I, it's, I, I, I'm not his mama. I'm not cleaning behind this. I need a ring. I'm I, 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 I. All I hear is I from a lot of women. I, 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 I. But at the end of the day, with the men. We always saying we 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 do we we let us do this let us do this let us 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 us. So it's just like, what do you guys want? And if you want to, and, and this is the thing, like I said, I'm in a good mood today, ladies. Like I tell y'all all the time, I love y'all. But if y'all don't want to be with a man and y'all don't want to show love to the man, don't date us. Leave us the fuck alone. Guess because I'm gonna be honest with you, we literally have like. You know, y'all outnumber us, right? Yeah, for sure. So we have so many options of women. So if y'all stop, let's say this video gets a million views. Even if a million of y'all stop, we still got more options. We we are not tripping. <laughs> He's like. We're not. It's so many women. Like, it's so many women in the world. They super outnumber. Like, super outnumber us. Like, I just feel... um. Some women just need to take a step back and just, I don't know, like do some, some self, I don't know, like, yeah, some reflection, something, because also too, it also roots back to like how a woman was raised and what she was seen. And, you know, if her mama was, you know, what type of woman her mama was, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like when you do get a certain, when you do get a certain um, age, you can, you have that choice of whether you want to break those generational curses yeah, or and become your own woman. I feel like, or if you want to continue following kids. after what you've seen, and I don't know. For me, I just feel like a lot of women. There is a community of women that be just so against men, but it confuses me because y'all be wanting men, and I don't. I don't understand that. I don't get that. I mean, I just. I, I, it ain't even for me to get. It's just, I just understand what it, I, I just. And they be rooting for their friends to be single. Listen, you got to pay attention to them friends who are always trying to tell you, uh, you know, be single, be single and break up with yeah. you. Now, listen, like this, I, I'm going to just put it out there. For example, I have friends, right? I try not to tell my friends to leave their significant others or whatever the case may be, especially if it's a situation that's fixable. If the situation is fixable and it's not that deep, then okay. But I will put it into perspective as if, if the situation is obviously you're not benefiting from it and I see you stressed out, yeah. you're literally like wasting your time. Yeah. You have held yourself back yeah. from this person. Then I'm going to be like, girl, you need to open your eyes yeah. and you need to understand that life moves on whether you're going to be stressed out or not. Yes, Every definitely. day the sun comes up and the sun goes down. 100%. You're going to look up and you're going to see yourself and you're going to be 30. You're going to be in your 30s or whatever. And you're going to be still dealing with the same man that ain't offering you nothing but a headache. Yeah, yeah. And get that hate off your heart, too. A lot of women, like, that's the thing. Like, if you feel like a man is not in your, uh, I'm not even going to say tax bracket. If you feel like a man is not on your wavelength or your wave frequency and y'all don't just vibe with each other, move on fast. Because if you don't, you will be 35. You will be 38. You will be 40. And you still going to be bitter. Being bitter that age is really bad. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Men, as we get older, see, this is the thing. When women mature faster than men, right? Mm-hmm. But then you gotta remember this. When a man finally does mature, so when a man is in his late twenties, early thirties, right? That man knows what he wants. Mm-hmm. He knows what he wants. So when that man knows what he's want, that's when us men, we already know when what we're gonna do. Our tolerance starts to be, I, I, I've said, oh my God, in the past three years, I've met so many women that have said, I was talking to this guy and he cut me off or he won't text me back. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I love that for us guys. You know, I love that for us because as we're getting older, like back in the day when we were younger, it was, dang, this girl not texting me back. But now since we're getting older, we not, we doing the not texting back because we know what we want now. Mm-hmm. We know, okay, cool. 
We know our little, we might not can't cook like a lot of women, but we know our dishes that we can cook now. We don't need you here. We we have found housekeeping. We don't need you to clean behind us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're now to the point in our life that we don't need a woman. If we want you, it's cool. You get what I'm saying? It's cool. You feel me? And I love it that we're getting to that point. Like, I love my girl because I want her. You know what I'm saying? And then you don't need a woman again until you make that need. Now I need her. You know what I'm saying? So it's just good that we get into that point in life where, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. But then that goes back to another topic. It's another topic. And this topic is very, very touchy. And but I was, I, I was, I was also, wait, before we get to that next topic, I was just about to say, though, too, like, you know, again, what you were saying about, like, the bitter woman, it's not cute to be no, bitter. Not, and, you know, cute. a lot of bitter women are just, like, in denial about them being bitter. Yeah, they're in denial. They're but... very in denial. And it's like, when it gets to a point where it's like, girl, like, everything that you say that comes out of your mouth is negative about a man. Like, you truly have no type of understanding. You don't want to listen to nothing. And they don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't want to. But wanna... why it got to be like, this the thing. Why it got to be I like, like, this the thing. Like, Keisha did it, like, last episode. Like, it got to be the black people. Why it got to be us? Like, I saw the video, right? And it's going to move into a damn near new topic a little bit. But I saw this video of this, this, this girl. And they were talking to her, and it was like, yeah, so you was talking to a married man. And she was like, what the fuck they got to do with me? What? She was like, really turned. She was like, really, really turned. And she was a black woman. And I'm like, yo, like, why are you so turned about people letting you know that you're wrong for dealing with a married man? Because she knows that she's wrong, and she don't want to hear nobody tell her that she's wrong. But why would she be, like, why, like even, like... People don't Y'all understand. be out here boasting, bragging or whatever about dating somebody else, man. Let me tell you something. That shit is always going to come back tenfold, baby. And when that karma hits you, you ain't. it's going to hit you so hard to the point to where you're going to be damn near depressed for the rest of your life. It's not even going to be funny. Y'all better get right, okay? Let's, 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 cut, the, let's cut it out. Let, yeah. Like, let's cut it out. Especially these married men. You dating a married man? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. And on top of that, the married men need to c- cut it out as well, too. Because I feel like it goes both ways. Yeah. I mean, I'm really on some, I'm on, I'm on some realistic shit. I'm going to be honest. Like, a married men are always going to... A lot of married men are going to... They're not leaving their wife, they, either. I'm, I'm not even saying sometimes they do. <laughs> sometimes they do. But unless what I'm she, saying is... Unless she want to leave him. But let's just be realistic, right? I tell everybody this. I tell uh, I tell your friends. I tell my friends. You only can control yourself, right? And... Most of the time in these married men situations, right? Mm-hmm. We your friends are gonna be on the other end. Mm-hmm. You can't control the man, and you only can't, can't the woman can only control herself. Mm-hmm. So if you put yourself in a situation where you fall in love with a married man, be ready with the results of that. Mm-hmm. Be ready with the outcome of that. You're gonna be hurt if you fell in love with somebody who was already in love with somebody else. And you may not be the only one that he's dealing with on the side. Exactly. Especially when you're dealing with a guy. And it's another thing about women, right? They be stop. in denial. Stop being in denial. Stop being in denial. But stop. Stop. Delusional. Stop. Keep, stop. Just just keep looking for men outside your tax bracket. Like, it's okay to know. And I'm not saying you need to be having the same amount of money. What I'm saying is you should know what tax brackets of men to date. Because a man with a lot of money is a lot of responsibility and he will run circles around you. Like a man who is really busy and has a lot of business going for himself can maintain and juggle 15 women. Because he's going to have a driver go pick up Chandra in the morning and he's going to have another girl at another crib and he's going to have an apartment in Canada that a girl is living in and she's fine and she's going to have a girl in Paris and you can't control those type of men they have another bracket of money that you can't control and also let's stop bragging on this is my thing do you really have do you really have a man's heart let's stop bragging on the materialistic things about what a man may get you for sure what a man may buy you do you really have his heart because if you have his heart then why he got another woman 
Definitely. Why he got a? Why he got other women? But that didn't, stop bragging that goes, because it's like, oh yeah, well he buy me this and he buy me that. Okay, he probably, nine times out of ten he got he got a few holes on the side that you don't even know about that he do the same shit. Man, that's what I'm saying. Like you got he do the same fold. You ain't no bracket, different, baby. They in that bracket because I'm telling you, I was just looking at one of my homies' close friends, and when I seen how like when you got money, I'm gonna just be honest with y'all, and I know this sounds really cliche, right? It sounds really cliche. When you're a man with money, life is very different. Like, I was looking at my friends, close friends, just last night, and they were out of town with, like, some girls or whatnot, and they were fucking, I mean, they were having sex with different women every night, and these are not just the regular girls. I don't even know what country they were in. They've been doing this in their close friends every single night. So if this is your man, just just focus on certain tax brackets. Like that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think the money should. And then we could close out. I don't think the money should close your mouth. I don't think the money should make you just be in check. But the money should make you be very aware. Because if you sitting up here talking like you running some shit and your man really getting money, he can close his mouth and act like you running shit, but you being all bitter and dumb and shit. And he could fly to fucking Vegas and get a crazy ass suite with his homies and be fucking some girls that look way better than you and doing way more for him. So just pay attention. Just pay attention to the money. The money really controls the narrative of relationships and shit. Hmm. What? Hmm. That's interesting. Listen, let's go on, on a break. commercial break real quick. Okay. See, <laughs> sorry. We'll we'll get back. We'll touch back on this topic when we come back from break. Y'all make sure you guys are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Make sure you're hitting the like button, dropping down in those comments what you want to hear us touch on. You know what I'm saying? We always open for a debate, so it's nothing with us. Make sure you're following us on Instagram at the Boldface Truth, and we'll be right back after these messages. I love saying it. Like I'm a real infomercial, right? <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Light Skin Keisha, a.k.a. Big Bang Bisha, and Coca Van Gogh. We are bringing to you our newest podcast, The Bold Face Truth. Make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you're following us on Instagram at The Bold Face Truth. You know, we always open for new topics and stuff, so you can drop in those comments and let us know what you want to hear us touch on. And this is my girl, Honey. She told y'all to subscribe and follow us, okay? We'll see y'all. Bang, gang, what up? What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Light Skin Keisha, a.k.a. Big Bang Bisha, and... Coco Vango, and I'm going to get off my phone because I don't need to get in trouble, but I'm going to manage to see some stuff, okay? <laughs> we are back after break. This is The Bold Face Truth. Y'all make sure you guys are subscribed and following our Instagram at The Bold Face Truth. Oh, and my girl, Honey, is here. My girl is pregnant, y'all. Let's get straight into the nasty nitty But wait, but wait, but wait. So we were just touching back on... We were touching on the money thing, right? Yeah, for sure. This is my thing. I feel like a lot of relationships... Um, a lot of relationships, they don't, a lot of relationships are very temporary these days. 100%. This is the we- reason why I, I, I disagree just a little bit. Um, it's because a lot of the times these days, it seems like people are only getting to know what somebody has, if that makes sense. They only want people for what they have. Like say for instance, a girl is starting to try to pursue a guy because, oh, he got the jewelry, he got the money, he got the clout, he got the fame. And, you know, these guys, they just, you know what I'm saying, pursuing a woman always because of, you know what I'm saying, the looks and all that other stuff. Not necessarily money, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if, it, if she does have money, it's a plus. But I feel like a lot of these relationships are not lasting. A lot of these relationships could be for PR stunts or whatever the case may be. But it's like, do you guys really even know each other? Because it always b- becomes a big blow up when they break up. And it's like, do y'all even really know each other? And they trying to figure out why, you know what I'm saying, the breakup or they didn't last. And, you know, these people be, folks just be moving on so fast. But it's like, y'all not even really taking the time out to get to know somebody. I feel like in order to have a good relationship, the foundation starts when y'all become actual real friends. That's when y'all, when a, when a real relationship, like, really, like, you know what I'm saying, y'all can create a real bond. Do you know this person inside and out? Do you know what this person is emotional about? Do you know this person's insecurities? Do you know what he's like when he's at it, when when he's just depressed? You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. 
do you really know these people? Do you know what really, what's they icks and what's really like irritates the shit out of them? Do you know, you know what I'm saying? Like what, what they're like when they sad. Have you ever even seen this person cry? Ask yourself that, you know? Because I feel like a lot of these relationships are just for play play these days and they're not lasting. They're not lasting at all. I mean, I don't agree, but I, I understand. I, I feel like, but I feel like why, like when you only get to know somebody with a with some money or whatever, you can't expect for everything to just last long. The reason I, the reason I don't agree is because like, you know, what you said does make perfect sense. If we're talking about perfect sense and if, if it, 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 it makes sense in a world. I'm speaking it, for people more so who want relationships. No, I'm saying period. What I'm saying is period. I'm talking about like life though now. It, that I don't agree just because, okay, cool. You can say all day, right, about the money thing and it's not lasting and this, that, and the other, whatever, 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 whatever right? But I'm going to be honest with you. Like, in the real world, if you if a broke person dates a broke person or a person that doesn't have ambition dates another person, whatever, people out here have it doing, we're doing a lot of shit, right? That shit can go sour and y'all both cannot have nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying this, let's say, for our daughter or our friends that's a female and this and the other right i think you should date for benefit i think you should 100 percent date for benefit that's what life is about because if you're dating you're you're not even gonna get to the finding out about that person's personality and all that unless you some somewhat are attracted to something about that person you know what i'm saying and then especially finances come come to play because it's like you can find a good guy right now. He could be a really good guy. I was just talking to a friend, and she's dating a guy, and he's a good guy. But being a good guy these days is not good enough because <laughs> it's messed up to say it. But dating a guy these dating a good guy these days is not enough because you know society, social media, and all that stuff has made it really, really hard on guys. You know what I'm saying? I know this girl, she's dating the guy. The guy's a very good guy. He makes her happy. She's feeling good about the guy and everything. But guess what? The guy doesn't push her to do better. And she's trying to go up in her life. And she's in her early 20s. So with her being in her early 20s and she knowing that she needs a push, your main push comes from the people that you talk to every day. So if you're talking to a guy every day and he's not pushing you to do better every day, the sex, the attraction, the vibe that you guys have, y'all like the same cartoons and y'all like the same food goes out the window now because now you're in need of that push to become a successful adult. Okay, but let me go back because this is why what I said I feel like still makes sense. At the end of the day, you can date a person with money that don't give a damn about what you do. It is all about about learning a person though too because if you in a relationship just because of a dude because oh he just has money or whatever and you can't learn from you can't learn anything from him then what's the benefit of it because i rather because some people be in their own worlds i'm talking about if you're if don't get me wrong like definitely i don't think that you should just i think definitely it should be benefits within a relationship absolutely you should be able to learn something from that person yeah. but i'm saying these girls who just be literally like sack chasing they should but I'm saying if that's it and that's all in the, and if you think that an, if you think that that dude is green and he don't know that you only dating him because of his because of, of what he got then you crazy. We're aware. But how can you but you have to be you have to <laughs> We're aware. To, but you use it for what? You're using it for temporary purposes though. Okay, but this is what I'm saying. If you're in your 20s, right? When you having your you having your fun, right? This is what I'm saying. I know some friends. I know some girls that you know. I know some girls that I know. They are having a lot of fun right now, but they're fuck, they're having sex and and dealing and crying and sad over a broke ass nigga. And since they dealing with that broke ass nigga, they just taking years of their life. Like one of your friends now, like some of your friends, my friends, whatever, mutual friends. Look, they trying dating, to be careful with look, these people. I'm trying to, I, 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 I'm trying to shake it off. <laughs> but guess what? They've been dealing with this nigga and for two, three years of their life and been crying and sad and emotional about this nigga and this nigga still don't got shit and he ain't gonna have shit. No, I totally. But listen. I but totally on, agree me, with let me that. Finish this one part. I agree. This, I would rather my female friend date five or six guys mm -hmm. with money. That's one paying the rent, one paying the car insurance, one paying the car note, and one is taking them out on a date, and the other one is pushing them and telling them to do better in their life because they're giving them some type of financial literacy. I would like that to be happening, even if that shit don't last. I would like that to be happening because those 
situations will get that girl more prepared for the real life instead of her dating a dude that she loves and I love his dick and it's so good for three years and next thing you know she's 30 yeah 32 years old and she's a broke ass motherfucker because she was in love I agree with that but I'm saying I'm talking about I agree with all of that because I definitely feel I would rather her date the guy that's offering financial literacy, illiteracy. For sure. I don't even I don't even think that she need to go through five different niggas. Like, yeah, you got to go through five different niggas because guess not what? at the same time. Financial literacy at the end. Shit. Financial literacy. Well, that pussy going to be ran through, baby. But that pussy going to be uh, the uh, roast beef. But guess baby. what? You can't control. And that's but, just that. But guess what? You can't. Uh, I'm be honest with you. You can't control that because then guess what? I know girls. I've but see, no, I don't agree with that. Life. Because at the end a of the day, I feel body. like, I feel like, yes, date somebody that's offering you a benefit for sure. And that for can sure. teach you something. But going out here to just go date a nigga or whatever. If, okay, if that's what you want and you want to do for fun or whatever. Okay, cool. If you're going to pay your bills for a short time. Okay, cool. Whatever. Okay. But just understand what you're getting yourself into and don't get your feelings attached. See, the problem where women go wrong is that they get their feelings too deeply involved. And that's what I'm saying. But why Why would you, like, no, I don't think that she should just be dating five niggas and then go sit there and she dating a dude who gonna pay her rent and who gonna yeah, pay her insurance and all this other stuff or whatever because guess what? That's temporary. So? That's temporary. Everything, so you're enabling. So at the end of the day, what's she gonna do when it stops? So let's talk because about- Because if you're not offering no advice, you need to be dating a dude that's gonna offer you financial literacy and understand and gonna invest into you and going to literally teach you something but to where you control. ain't got to depend but on them other niggas to do all of that but for she you. Can't, let me, I'm trying to tell you, she can't control the outcome. So at the end of the day, everything in life is how she can't when y'all say that women got the most, we got the power. How you yeah, can't control the yeah, outcome? Okay, but at the end of the day, yeah, y'all got the power, but you gotta be real realistic here. Some yeah, girls got the power, but a lot of girls don't understand how to use the power. Because if a lot of girls understand how to be use the power, it will be more people having weddings, it will be more people married. You don't have any married friends. Absolutely, but we're talking, we're we're hypothetically speaking. We're not hypothetically speaking. We I'm are talking hypothetically real, speaking. I'm, talk, I'm, talk, I'm talking about real life here. I'm talking okay, but listen, at the end of the day. If you have a, if a girl literally dates a dude and she's literally gaining something from him as far as how to be able to take care of her business and investing in all that other stuff or whatever, then I feel like that situation could definitely go long versus a situation where it's like, oh, okay, it, well, give me the money. Yeah, give but me the you, money so I can no, pay no, my rent. But we being real in real life. I know niggas that done tried to help girls, but at the end of the day, they be married. Or I know niggas that be trying to help girls, but guess what? They gonna fuck with that girl for that time being. Shit, nothing here, nothing here on this earth right here, guys, is goddamn temp is uh is uh gonna last forever. Everything is temporary, and you'll be lucky to find something that lasts forever in this world that we live in. So in this temporary ass world that we live in, you know what I'm saying? Have your fun and get what you can out these niggas because these niggas are going to get what they can from you ladies. They're going to get your pussy, okay? And they're not just going to get one. I know dudes right now who are rich and they brag about having sex with four girls a day and they're almost 40. That's just the world we live in. You definitely have to get what you can. But I am specifically talking about for the girls again. Because I think you confused. I think you you getting confused. I'm not confused. I'm talking. I think you are. I'm not. I'm not talking about these girls who can able who are able to sit there and date all of these men or whatever the case may be. Sure. I'm talking about these girls who stress themselves out about a relationship. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but even the girls want like some. Even when I think about that, right? But I feel like anybody that you're in a relationship with, they should be able to teach you something and you should learn from them something. It has to be some type of benefit, something. And also too, we not dealing with no, uh, no, no, no. Like I said on my song, uh, no broke niggas allowed. We ain't dealing with this shit for real. Because at the end of the day, that's just a waste of time because they be stressing. They stress a bitch out. Like, Oh goodness gracious. When a dude is broke. Oh my God. Like, Oh my God. It, it just stresses you out. You just, if Especially you got, if you don't know how to go you get no find money. Somebody, you got to find somebody with a like mind. Like at the end of the day, like our relationship, the reason our relationship works the way it does, right? It's because I've been in so many bad relationships and you've been in so many bad relationships. Yes. So we both understand the fact we both had to go out there and do our thing. You had to go fuck some niggas. I had to go fuck some bitches. That's just what it is. You feel me? And I'm happy that you went out there and Of course, I had to go figure out. I had to yeah, go find but out. But I'm happy that you went out there and played around. You didn't play with rich niggas and you didn't play with broke niggas. You didn't play with middle niggas. You didn't play with all type of different type of niggas. And you see, okay, cool. Over here, from 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 what I'm from what the energy that you give me, over here 
it's good. And me, I feel the same way. I fuck with bitches that had shit going on. I fuck with bitches that ain't have shit going on. For me, this works very well for me. But if I wouldn't have been out there playing and playing and playing and playing and playing and playing and playing, I would never know that this is the type of shit that I want. No, I agree with that. I agree. And this shit took a long ass. This is another thing I'm trying to say. The reason I keep saying temporary is because I have been friends with this girl for so fucking long, and we have had mutual friends for 10 plus years. Not one engaged. Not one married. Not one is in a successful relationship. Not one is in a relationship where they both parties are benefiting. We mm-hmm. are literally the only couple every time. Every birthday party. Every trip, we I feel are like the we the, only. We the, we the youngest, we the youngest couple from Atlanta that's really like doing this shit for real, and that's it ain't like, no gimmicks. Yeah, and I don't care who disagree or whatever the case may be. A lot of people can learn something from us because at the end of the day, we treat each other as a team. A lot of these relationships, they don't know how to treat each other as a team. It's not a us, it's this or them, and they go do what they whatever they do, yeah. and, but they don't really pour into each other. They're not really yeah. trying to build. They're not really trying to build nothing together. It's oh, okay. We're gonna look cute in the photos and stuff like that or whatever. And that's that. Nah, like we really done. You know what I'm saying? Like we done really came from the mud and really went through a lot of stuff together. But I, what I do respect though, the ones, the ones that's not in the relationships, right? What I do respect is the girls that's in their twenties right now, right? Or even in your thirties, because thirties is like you know what I'm saying. That's still young. If you in your twenties and your thirties right now and you having fun with these guys and you have are, fun and and you and you getting the ups. Because yo, don't worry about us. Don't worry about our feelings. We going to be all right, and yeah. we going to get what we want from y'all. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Girls, start getting what y'all need from these guys. You got to control it, but don't get your feelings too deeply involved. Even if you do, even if you, but even, I, me, I ain't going to lie to y'all. That's how you get your feelings hurt, man. Yeah, but I ain't going to lie to y'all, though. I, y'all can't control it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all emotional people. So at the end of the day, even if your feelings get involved, just know at the end of the day what the goal is. But the you goal can't is- control it. If you have a goal, if you have a goal and you know what you're getting, if you literally are dating a guy, if you say, you know what, I just want to be out here and have my fun, okay, stick to that. But because if you go and date though. a guy that's literally that you know, he got money, he got cars, he got clothes, and you got all of these, and you know he got multiple women, multiple baby mamas, all of that stuff, you are choosing to go and get yourself involved in that. So if anything happens to a point to where you literally are hurt, you set yourself up for that because you made your choice. You made the choice to go do that. Didn't nobody put no gun in your head and tell you that you had to go mess with that man? But sometimes shit just be fucked up. You just got to know what it is, Yeah, but sometimes shit be fucked up. You got to understand this. Like I keep telling you, like I said at the beginning, right? When you dating a guy in a different tax bracket, right? They don't even let you that into their life. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't think I think that's cap. No, nah, but I'm telling you, like, it's girls. Man, all these the men that be out here, it's it's so many men out here with money that be selling girls' dreams. And at the end of the and, day, and, and, and they, they start thinking the, where where a woman go wrong is she start she start thinking that she can change a nigga. Not even that. I'm talking about, yeah, okay, cool. But I'm talking about more so like when you're dating a guy and he's in a high tax bracket, right? And he's moving around and this week he's in Paris. This week he's in Australia. This week he's at a conference place. This week he's in New York doing this for a week. This week he's in California for two weeks. And he's moving around and moving around and he's spending what time he can with you and he's getting on the phone with you and this, that, and the other. You don't know what type of guy that you're dealing with. And sometimes those type of guys can fuck with you really, really hard. And then one day it's just an expiration date and they just cut you off just because. So get what you can out there. But how how would you not know that you, what you're dealing with? How would you not know what you're dealing with? What you mean? I've dated I've, I've dated girls to where like I was busy and I was doing what I was doing and we just fall off and I just sometimes be like okay yeah sometimes it was cool talking to them but then I wake up and then just be like I mean I'm my, saying guy, though, my guys just... y'all here I'm gonna ask y'all when y'all was haven't y'all dated girls to where everything cool y'all done had some long conversations everything cool it ain't even them we just ready to get the fuck on away from you. It ain't no excuse. That's fair. But what I'm saying is, is you just put it out there and said, oh, yeah, okay, you might have a guy that's in Paris and he might be in London and da-da-da-da. You don't think she knew that from the beginning? No. What I'm saying is, like, my guy's here working on Maybe the Maybe we're right? on two different pages yeah, but what, I'm not, what I'm saying is, we are on the same page, but you got, I'm saying, like, me just observe, like, what I'm kind of saying. My guy's that's on set right now. Y'all do podcasts for everybody. Steve Harvey, this person, that person, us, all that, y'all moving around, right? You might meet a girl at the bar and y'all have great conversation for four months. But one day you might just wake up and be like, you know what? I'm on this train. I ha- it, it, it was a vibe. Ah, 
I just don't want to talk no more, right? Yeah, she don't eat pork. <laughs> it just be random shit. It can what? Be, it, 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 just like what he said. It just be random shit some days. Like, I've literally been talking. It was a girl that I was talking to on the phone. Every day, she was so fucking cool. It was no problems with her. It was me. I just didn't want to do it no more. And I didn't have an excuse. And now she I'm not hurt. saying you need and she was hurt. And she fine. DM'd me. All oh, she was DMing me this long ass shit. And I was in my mind. I just wanted to be like, damn. I want to tell you, it's not even you. I just don't want to fuck with you no more. You should have had more options. Is that not saying? Is that not what I've been saying though? No, you said. I'm no. saying that you gotta know what you're getting yourself into. So you going you trying to tell me that you gon' you gon' pull a bitch through four months and you goddamn I'm you saying, you selling her dreams and then you cut her off out of nowhere and then you all of a sudden like she's sending you long text messages and then all of a sudden you want to tell her well I'm you should have had more options. I'm saying you what can't in the control? fuck? That's what I say, ladies. Know what you're getting I yourself said, into and treat it as such. Yeah, but what period. I'm saying, what I'm saying is you cannot control. She can't control. The emotion. So I said, I'm just trying to be realistic here. The guy, the women that y'all was dealing with, because y'all are good guys and y'all probably wasn't out there just trying to do them bad. If your emotions get hurt in the situation, you just gotta. It just happens, bro. Emotions. What I'm. Everybody has emotions. You know what I'm saying. I could watch a damn. You know what I'm saying. I was just watching uh Coach Carter the other day or whatever, and when they won, uh, when they lost or whatever, I was crying. Okay, listen. It's different when the. But listen, involved, all though. I'm saying is, is that when you don't. All I'm saying is, is that as far as your emotions. Don't get involved too deeply to where they can be played with to the point to where you are affected to where you can't even damn near eat. If you know that you chose to go into a situation to where you are not 100% secure. I hear you telling them that. What's wrong I, with that? I I hear you telling them that, but I, I don't know if they go. I don't know. All I'm saying is, child, sometimes you got to have that guard up a little bit. You do. You have to have that guard up yeah. a little bit and you got to know what situations you're what you're you're getting into because imagine if a nigga around here you six months in talking to a dude and then he just up and cut you off and then he want to say it's not even you what yeah but she won't be emotionally attached because some guys we ain't we ain't replaceable they just love a nigga like that especially and you when, think that's right especially when you put that dick in their stomach they be a, they be attached i'm sorry they be attached so it's like if you can't control your emotion ladies do that but if you can't what trouble say? Can't get involved too deeply. Can't set myself up for a lay down. <laughs> Period. Mm. Cause what in the world? Imagine that. That'll be crazy. Mm. This was a good topic. I want to hear y'all's feedback on this. This was a really, really good topic. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. We'll be back. Yes, we will. This is not break, right? We into this, right? We wrapping this up. Oh, for real? So yeah, this is a wrap on this episode. Damn, My girl, honey, is tired, y'all. Listen, she tired. Right, bad, bad, but anyways, y'all, thank you guys so much for joining us on this episode. Y'all keep on dropping in those comments and letting us know what you want to hear us touch on. Yeah. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smashing that like button for show and following us on Instagram at the bold face truth. We will see y'all on the next episode. Bang gang, put your V's up. Put your V's up and make sure you guys DM us and keep asking us stuff. But we can't wait to answer you guys' questions. We didn't and even do the song today. Put your V's up, ayy, put your V's up. Put your V's up, ayy, put your V's up. Put your V's up.